Hello everyone, and welcome back to Portal Reloaded. This is a rather fun Portal 2 mod that does get you thinking quite a bit. So, where we last left off, we last left off on this test chamber here, and I actually had a lot recorded prior to this, but I messed up completely in one of the later test chambers. I... It just went completely wrong on so many levels, I, I actually got stuck, and I didn't think that was possible to do in this mod, but I got stuck. I could not progress any further. I put portals in locations that I guess couldn't be where they were. So, we last left off at this test chamber here, so we are actually going to figure this out pretty quickly. But, before we get into solving this here test chamber, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. And with that said, let's jump right to this. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to have to do here is open the time portal back into the present. And, do a couple of things in here. Number one, Pop a portal there, and one up here. Now here's the thing though. We actually don't need those here in the future. So we're gonna put one over there. And... We are gonna fling ourselves through it. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. And that is actually important information to keep in mind. Because if a portal closes in the future, it will not close in the present. But if you pass through an Imperial Emancipation Grill in the present, the same portal will also fizzle in the future. Because if you remember what it was in the last episode, the announcer said that the future version of these test chambers was left untouched for the past 20 years. And as you can see, both of these are still here. So we're going to have to go down through here. Now we have to use the same color. There is a portable surface over here. We have to use the same color portal that we've used previously to get ourselves over here. So that's what that is for there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, did I mess this up already? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Good. Alright. So, portal there, portal here, go through again, come over here, and now we can make our way towards the exit. Outstanding. Now that you know all the essentials, how about shooting some time portals of your own? And that sounds very interesting. Shooting time portals is actually what got me messed up in the first place. So, we'll see how things go this time around. Hopefully it goes a lot better than last time. Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizzle your portals or destroy cubes. Okay, so just to expand upon what the announcer said here just a little bit. So, that actually does not affect any portals that we have placed. So, if I place these portals right there, and then go through the Material Emancipation Grill, it does not affect the, the regular portals, the blue and orange ones. But, if I were to place the Time Portal... Okay, so it doesn't actually fizzle that. 
the blue ones do fizzle all the portals. No, they don't. Hmm. Okay, so I do have that a bit backwards, but that's all right though. But as you can see on this side, it is orange. On this side, I can shoot the time portal all I want. If I go through here, I can't shoot it at all. I have to go through when it's green in order to actually shoot the time portal. All right, so enough messing around here. Let's just get this one over with. Great. The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. Okay. So let's just pause for just one moment here and think about portal in general. One of the main mobility abilities, one of the main things you can do for mobility would be flinging. Using a portal to fling yourself over anything provided you have enough momentum. Since the momentum that you have going into the portal is conserved when you come out of the portal. So, the same concept also applies to time portals. It's still a portal, so I don't see why it wouldn't actually mean the same thing with a time portal. So, let's take a look at our surroundings here. We've got our exit up here, and what could be two buttons up there. We have a cube dispenser there. We have a 1500 megawatt super colliding super button. <laughs> Excuse me. It's a 1500 megawatt aperture science super colliding super button. There we go. Okay. And we have a regular button right here. We have to get a cube onto this button. So how do we do that? Well, by using portals. And now this button here causes this to go like that. Okay. So, as is to be expected, there really is only one way to solve this test chamber. And the way to solve this test chamber is by using the momentum-based flinging. And how do we do that exactly? We have an orange portal down here, so we can pop a blue one up there. But we're gonna have to get into the present somehow. While on the platform up above here. We can do that easily enough, but... Remember that you can only place time portals on surfaces which are in the same condition in both timelines. And that's important to remember. As this panel here is not in the same condition. So, we also have to get a box on a button here. Which is no problem. And then we could do our flinging here. Which would make things actually a whole lot easier. Whoops. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so now that both of those panels were in the same condition. That's what the announcer was talking about before. He wasn't talking about... Remember how in the one test chamber we shot a portal in the present on a surface that was not there. It crumbled. That's technically not the same condition. What he was actually talking about was time portals, not regular portals. The regular portal would not appear in the future because... The wall crumbled at some point. It was allowed to exist in the present, but not in the future. It's kind of confusing, but I promise you, if you think about it for just a little bit, it'll make perfect sense. 
But now the thing is, though, we have to go back into the present. Back to the present. Grab this cube here. Bring it over here. And now we can take this cube into the present and complete the chamber. Well Woohoo! Traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline. All right. So in most of these test chambers, you actually have to think outside the box quite a bit. And that is something that's going to come... That's something that's gonna... You're gonna have to really remember in future test chambers, especially this one here. Now, there are actually two ways to complete this test chamber. The first way is to complete it in the present. Now... According to the announcer, completing it in the present is actually the correct way to do it. However... We're going to actually try completing it in the present. And yes, I did look up a little bit of a spoiler beforehand, just to, you know, just to clear the air a little bit. I did look up spoilers for this particular test chamber, simply because it looked to be quite, you know, confusing. But let's see if we can figure it out so that we can complete it in the present. I don't think it should be that hard. I am so dumb. Got it. Okay. So... Let's think about this a little bit. If I put the cube on the button... I don't know if there's a way to complete this chamber without going into the future. I'm not sure if there is or not. So that's something that we're just going to have to see if we can figure out. Alright. So let's take a look at what we got. We got this cube here. Now, completing it in the future requires us to not move this cube in the present. Okay, but we are going to move it in the present. And we're going to do that. Now... Here's the tricky part. I can get over there. But now how am I going to get that off? Well, that's actually quite simple. Yeah, simple from a simpleton's point of view, that is. I could jump over there and land in a portal. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this. Oh, I missed. I missed. Okay. So, my portals are going to fizzle. But we're still going to try this, this way. Because I am committed to this. No one is going to talk me out of this. Okay. This won't work. Okay, so I figured it out. It is actually intended to be completed in the future, but... 
And this is a big butt as well. I didn't just do that. Alright, so I am going to grab this. Put it over here. Leave it there. Now, I'm going to go into the future. Portal. Go through the portal. Come up here. Put a portal there and a portal here. Grab that. Put that portal over there. Go through this portal here. Time portal. You create your own solution, which is great. Technically, you are supposed to do something else. But who cares anyway? Keep going. All right. So maybe as a bonus, I'll try to complete that one in the present as the announcer kind of hints that that is what is expected of you to do. So that is something that I can try as a sort of bonus episode as soon as I get done with everything and, and we'll come back to that later on. If you are ever unsure where you placed your portals or where you left the cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. This will display holographic projections of your portals and cubes in the other timeline. Now, what you guys did not see before was me being rather lucky when it came to this test chamber here. I was incredibly lucky. You had to be fast. This is a time-based test chamber. All the three buttons are timed. One and two are about 10 seconds each. This one is about a second. However, the buttons to activate the timers are only present in the present. That was confusing. Uh, you get the idea. So, you have to go through the portals. And, what I'm going to do is actually this, to prepare myself. And, I'm going to get this in the first try. It took me about 10 tries before, but this time though, no, one try. Let's go. Oh, I missed it. Just by a hair. Oh. Okay. All right, round two. Round two, let's go. All right, there's one. Right, okay. Trying this again. I need that over there. Okay. So. Okay, one. Two. Three. That was it. That was it. That was it. I don't get it. Okay. Anyway. Let's try this again, though. Alrighty. Okay. Trying this again. This time, a little bit smarter. Okay. 
Ah, oh, I didn't make it. Did I? No. Okay, I was so close. So close. Okay. Alrighty. I can do this. I know I can. Let's do it. Okay. I got all the portals set up. And now, go. It's gonna take some doing. Oh. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Oh. Okay. Slow down. Go about it all nice and calmly. Not fast enough. I could already tell it's not fast enough. Okay. Let's go back over here. Okay, I got the portals all set up. Okay. Now. I went through the wrong portal. One more time. All right, here we go. Darn it. Right idea, wrong sequence. Okay. So I had the right idea there, I just had the wrong sequence of events. That's alright though. As now... Still not fast enough. Still not fast enough. Okay. Doing this again. Ugh, come on. Put that over there. Put this here. Because I can't actually shoot any portals. Okay. Not fast enough still. I know I wasn't going to be fast enough that time. So I put a portal in the wrong place. Okay. Oh, I was almost there. I was almost there that time. Oh. One more time, and then I'm going to fast forward through this part for you guys. Just so you aren't here uh, watching me epically fail with all this. Okay. All set up. Go. Nope. Noper, noper, noper.
Got it. Okay, so that I'm gonna I'm probably gonna cut. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. Whoops. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. If at oh, any how point nice. you are concerned about your odds of survival, don't be. Remember the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section? Should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Good as new. Okay, so this test chamber here, let's see what we got. We've got glass across the opening here that we can't get to. And that glass is probably not going to be there in the future. Probably. So let's go into the future. Well, it was there until we came through. Hmm. Anyway. Okay. So let's see what we got. Let's put a portal there and a portal here. And grab a cube. Okay. So that means that is over here now. Put a time portal here. Future cube into the present. And now we have that. So what exactly does that give us? Quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. Actually, there's a much easier way to do this. Let me fizzle this cube. Okay, then go back into the present. There's things that I do here. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. No. No, not quite. I don't think that'll work quite right. But... We have to get a cube over here. In order to do that... We can't... Hmm. Let's just try it real quick. Okay. There's the cube. Awesome. Now we can affect... Remember, and I actually completely forgot about this. We can affect Destiny of Future Cube by simply moving around Present Cube. And now... What happens if we were to do this? Again, it's all timing based. 
That one's still there. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to reset the position of this cube. Okay. And then... Before... That's too slow. Okay, so think about this logically. We have to use the, we have to use the concept of, fu uh, of pa I'm sorry, present cube affecting the destiny of future cube. That is something that we're gonna have to exploit in this particular test chamber. We can't actually get Can we? Is this possible? No. Okay. Okay, that actually doesn't work. But... But let's see if we can figure this out, though, a different way. Okay. Alright, so we got this far already. Alright. Okay, so... Let's move this closer. I need to reset that though. I need to reset the position of future cube by just picking that up and putting that back down. Okay. So... Okay, put that over there. Wait a second. No, I don't need that there. Never mind.
Okay. Okay, so we have this configuration. you can only place time portals on surfaces which are in the same condition in both timelines. Yes, I know. So what did that get us? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. All right. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to be notified when other videos are released in the very near future. So I do want to speak one thing, though, before I go, and that is about the Portal Stories Mel playthrough. I have decided for the time being to put that on hold. Now, I have already released two episodes in a row of Portal Reloaded, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I am going to be releasing another video tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet, uh, but there will be another video released tomorrow as well. So, once again, thank you everyone so much for watching. Like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Thank you.